17 years ago today, we experienced the deadliest terror attacks in American history. And today, all across the country, flags are flying at half-staff to remember the victims of September 11, 2001. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Mike Stedham. On that date in 2001, four airplanes were hijacked by the Islamic terrorist group Al-Qaeda with plans to attack the World Trade Center in New York, the Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia, and the White House in Washington. Three of the four attacks were successful. The plane that was set to attack the White House crashed into a field in Pennsylvania after passengers prevented the hijackers from that attack. The attacks killed more than 2,900 people and injured more than 6,000.